Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued our campaign against the High Dari Regulators, I think they used to be called. Um, our allies have been in here getting some good work done. They did land a bunch of troops a little bit sooner than I would have liked, but, you know, fortunately, I was able to get in there, back them up. And we didn't lose anything too serious. We just have one more planet to occupy in the Lawson system. And then this war will be over. And we will have handily defeated one of the Fallen Empires. Um, so there's that. And also we're claiming the territory that was cleaned up by the Prothoran Scourge. There's still a little bit of Scourge left. I don't know if there's another wave coming or not. Uh, we'll see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these systems claimed, and then once I have all those systems claimed, then I will clean up the rest of the Scourge, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, we also got our Ascension perk, but I can't actually take the one that I want yet because we don't have enough Nanite drones nano drones unfortunately and I don't know how to find out how many I have or how many I'm making so well, it is what it is I'm going to keep an eye on the nanites if that does run low then I might go ahead and throw some in with the console but we'll, we'll see how much longer this actually lasts once we finish the war with the Hydari and once we clean up the Prothoran Scourge and there's no more on the way, then uh, we'll probably be calling this series complete. So, let's just get to it. All right, what do we have here on the archives? Oh, we already have uh, enemy troops here. Or, not enemy troops. Friendly troops. We might as well go ahead and tell our armies to land. I mean, our guys are going to win. So. System survey complete. We're over starbase capacity, but I'm not worried about it. All right, so we completed here. Go ahead and survey that system. Hellbrid Index made peace. And ironically, now they are finally at peace. After how long? We are the ones at war. All right, well, we're not going to be at war for too much longer, so. Is something going on? We're locked up on a month transition. Not entirely unusual, but...
Okay, well, got through that. That took a while. Is all this beer old trading coalition is establishing a bunch of new branch offices all over the place okay well, so be it i guess myth fell kingdom is more spiritualist so be it at over here is what are we doing here you're surveying you are building a mining station okay now this interstellar habitat is only connected to this wormhole system Though they did build a gateway in that system. Okay, well, I guess that's smart because. All right, where are we at here? Cleaning up the disengaged forces before finishing off the actual ones fighting. Okay. I don't know why it does that. Uh, there's their attack, Moon. These month transitions are taking a while for some reason. Scientific breakthrough. Okay, we're back. Received. Yeah, uh, I, I think we're we're getting to the point where we're we're pretty much done because it's getting so so painfully slow that it is just becoming nigh on impossible to keep playing.
The old trading coalition has become more mm, militaristic. Okay. We're about to claim this system. How are we coming with this system? Still have a few bodies to scan. All right. System survey complete. All right, a lot of governing ethics are shifting, okay. All right, there's that system. Let's go ahead and have them survey this one. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. We're building a city district? Construction complete. Well, we'll keep the construction going as much as we can. How goes the ground war? It's over. End of the high dire regulators. And that means we are now at peace. Excellent. Mausoleum and Octon Undros honor has been completed. Okay. Offer protectorate status. Here we are again. On a month transition. Don't typically have this problem. But don't know what's going on. And I think we're through. Like having to pause the recording like for like a couple of minutes every time we go through a month transition. It's really starting to go to my nerves. I am uh, pretty much ready to go ahead and send the ninth fleet through. And let's clear out the rest of the Prothoran. Because it doesn't seem like they're doing anything more. So, they're not even taking this system. They've just been just sitting here bombing this planet forever for with no apparent, you know, objective in sight. Or, you know, they have infestors. They could take the planet if they wanted. I don't know why they don't, but so be it.
You want reinforcements? Eh, short a couple of ships. Not that worried about it. Drug freighter crashes on V Postum. A large civilian freighter was recently designed, denied atmospheric entry on V Postum after it was found to be carrying illegal drugs in an auxiliary cargo compartment. As the freighter was ordered to leave or heave for inspection, its captain, a drug crazed human, instead opted to burn past the orbital blockade and attempt to land. The freighter was hit by ground fire from our planet side security forces. As it ended causing it to crash into a densely populated city district, there were few survivors on the ground. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. Alright. This Admiral has the engineer trait. All right, is that a complete wipe? That looks to be a complete wipe. The end of the Scourge. The yeah, Galaxy breathed the collective sigh of relief today as the last significant pockets of the Prothoran Scourge were expunged. Their extragalactic invasion has failed, and all that remains of the Prothorans, once colossal swarm, are the innumerable charred husks now drift quietly through the void. The, ten the sense of elation and utter joy spreading across the galaxy at a speed greater than light, and spontaneous victory celebrations have erupted on countless worlds. Could this be the beginning of a new age of galactic peace and stability? They really weren't worthy opponents. We, we utterly destroyed them. All right. Well, with our victory over the Hydari and our victory over the Scourge, there really isn't much left for me to do. So, I think this may be where we actually conclude the series, because, again, we're locked up, and I'm just about done putting up with it. All right, and so this uh, is going to conclude. I really wasn't prepared for this, but um, this mega campaign, which proceeded all the way through, well, started in, what was it, Crusader Kings 2, and went through Europa Universe House 4, Victoria 2, Hoi 4, and Polaris, and there's a new tradition available, and a scientific breakthrough so this was a uh, pretty fun run we just get this to pause all right yeah so basically we dominate the galaxy um, we can beat anybody we want, whenever we want, and so, yeah, I'm pretty good to call it there. Yeah, as I said, it was a fun run. I'm not sure I will do another mega campaign, but I can't rule it out. Um, not anytime soon, I don't think. Um, because now we have Crusader Kings 3, and we have... I think Victoria 3 has been confirmed. So, yeah, we'll see. We're going to need a Europa Universe Alice 5 as well.
right. So how long is almost 2000 years, almost 2000 years of the Bulgar empire. We started in the 760 uh, bookmark. Yeah. So about 1800 years and risen from a nomadic tribe on the Eurasian steppe to total dominance of the entire galaxy. All right. So yeah, we'll go ahead and conclude here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.